In this lesson, we are going to introduce Android 5.0 or Android Lollipop. And don't miss the end of the video because we are going to see how to activate the Easter egg included on this version, which is a copy of Flappy Bird. Okay, so starting with Android 5.0, the most popular thing is the material design. The material design is going to be a revolution in the way that the application looks. This name doesn't say too much. But we will explain this. The material design goal is to create a visual language that will be used in our application, compatible across all platforms. So an application for Android L has to be compatible with Android smartwatches, phone, tablets, and even Android Auto. Let's explain in more detail the material design. Okay, so material is the, mat the metaphor used for the layers that we are going to have in our application. So you can imagine a material like a surface, like a sheet of paper, and our application is going to be composed by this. By this. Our application now is going to be 3D. So we are going to have a depth element. We have to have elements about the other, projecting shadows on them. Also, Combining colors and imagery, we want, we want to create meaning. This is that we want to tell to the user that he can do something combine using these elements and create patterns, visual patterns, that they can mm, be used, used by many developers in different applications. The objects come into the screen and go from the screen with a smooth animation, which also be useful to keep the user attention. Let's understand a bit better what is... Uh, a material. So as I said, our application now is going to have a set axis. So there are going to be elements above the other and you're going to be able to notice that when using the app. It's going to be light and shadow. There's two kind of shadows, key shadow, key shadow which is directional and ambient, ambient shadow that will, that will project the same shadows in both sides. I say that imagine the material like a sheet of paper because even that the art on the set axis, the height of them is always going to be 1 dp. This is not possible. We cannot have elements taller than the others. They are going to be layers with the same height. So the shadow is going to be cast by the position of the, of the elements in the view. We can transform the material, we can project animation on, on, on it, we can change the background, make it smaller, make it bigger, put image on it. Different materials cannot be on the same on the same set component, so one of them has to be above the other. Also, on the same way, you cannot move one below the other, they cannot go through the other one. You cannot do this. They can change shape. It will never bend or fall. The material can be joined with other material. There's like different possibilities that are going to make our application look too much better compared with the previous Android version. Okay, this is more for designers, but you can keep looking at this guide in order to get a better idea. But basically, our application, our Android Lollipop, will have the material design. So it will, it will include a theme that we can extend in our application. So our, our buttons we ha will have shadows and different kind of lights. We will have new, new UI components. For example, this is a recycle, recycle view which is a modification of the list view. And we will have a new type introduced in Nolipop, which is the card view, which is like a widget that lets you display important piece of information. The shadows, as you know, and the animation. This is a demonstration of the cool animation that you can have in Android Lollipop. Coming back to the key features, another new thing in Android Lollipop is the management of notifications. So now you can tell 
which not notification do you want to allow for a certain time and for how long this is this restriction is going to be on also is we are going to have up to 90 minutes more of battery life comparing with the previous android version and this is due to the new android runtime which is a very important concept to explain it in a non-technical way it translates the application for android when they are installed so that means that the, C the cpu of the mobile just execute this is, is this instruction when you are running the application before we had that big which has to translate the instruction for the CPU at runtime. So it was more needed more battery and was a bit slower than ART. So to explain this in a, in a more in a more technical way. To maintain the compatibility, the application is still compiled onto the same bytecode as Dalby into the X file generate on the APK. But on Android ART, ART from this DEX file we are going to obtain one thing called executable and linkable format, ELF, and this is going to be run directly on the ART. But before on Dalvik, this has to be translated before the processor runs this instruction. So this and much more is included on Android Lollipop. In the course, we will keep working with this and we, we will create an application using the material design and the new animation. And now, the moment that everyone was waiting for, how to activate this. I'm waiting for the guys of Motion to create a Lollipop emulator so then I can create the application because at the moment, as you know, the Android emulator is always very slow. You can't even play Flappy Birds. Okay, so you go to settings. If it won't. Then about phone. And now you just click on the Android version a bunch of times. until this opens. It's very difficult to do it on the emulator. Okay, now if you do a long press on the lollipop, this should start again. Now just tap the screen and this should start playing. Impossible to play here, of course. Okay, so that's all about Android lollipop. It's very exciting.